there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, what did Kenny get for Christmas? Well, it doesn't look like a huge box of stuff, but good things come in small packages. And if we open this box, we will find one of the first gifts that I received. And that would be one of these Tadpole tape cutters. Now, if you guys remember back when I did the video of what did Kenny get for his birthday, I showed you guys that I got the one inch Tadpole tape cutter. And I was so pleased and happy with the way that worked that I went out and I got myself the inch and a half Tadpole cutter. And for Christmas, I got the final size of the two inch tadpole cutter and this will be used for things like packing tape and the sort. I'm still pleased with these and use these on a consistent basis in the shop and uh, they may be something that you might want to look into. They're not that expensive but man are they convenient. Regardless of what size of them you're using, it's just a matter of peeling this back till you get the length of tape that you need. And once you get that length straightened out, pull it back and tear it off. And you get the perfect size piece of tape every time. Now I know you guys can tear this off, you know, with your hands and stuff. It's gimmicky, it's gadgety. Yeah, sure it is, but I love my gadgets. I also got this year a set of these, and this is uh, drill stop collars for drill bits. And although in most cases I use a depth stop on the drill press, there are times when I need a collar or I would prefer a collar on the bit. And I do have a cheap set of aluminum ones. I've never really been happy with them. Even the set screw doesn't uh, really set quite right but these are a nice steel collar they seem to be very well milled they all have a large allen key bolt or a cap screw here to tighten them around the bit the other ones that i have seem to be the type where the set screw actually goes onto your drill bit. In other words, it's applying direct pressure, whereas this is a split ring and the cap screw pulls it together in such a way so that it basically clamps onto the drill bit and doesn't cause the drill bit any damage. Um, it goes from sizes from 1 8 up to half an inch and I can't really say exactly if they're any good or not because I only got them yesterday. Uh, yes, today is Boxing Day. The show is pre-recorded. But the only thing I can see right off the bat that I'm not happy with, and I will be changing that, is that the sizes of the stops or the size of the drill bit is not listed on the actual split rings. I would have liked to see that just to make selection of the ring a little easier. So I believe that I do have an engraving tool. Chances are I will be engraving the drill bit size on each one of these just to make uh, make it a lot easier to select the one I need. But other than that, a very cool set, very sturdy, and I'm sure that they're going to be absolutely awesome in the shop. One of the other sledgehammer hints that was dropped for a gift that I wanted was this. And what this is, is a jointer and edger for, uh, for use with a milling file. And of course, what would the jointer or the jig be without a new 8-inch milling file? Now guys, uh, I don't know if you guys use cabinet scrapers, but from time to time, cabinet scrapers have to be milled or have to be sharpened or honed, whatever you want to call it. And when they get really bad and in need of repair, they need to be jointed. And for that, you use a file. I've done a show on it before where I made my own little jig to uh, to hone these files, or sorry, to hone those card scrapers. But of course, I mean, I guess I like my gadgets. So all of this, uh, all this jig does is it holds your file here in the unit so that now this is a perfectly 90 degree surface 
and you place your card along here, you run it along the fence, and this file will now file it down exactly uh, 90 degrees to the card face. And what that does is it gives you a very, very sharp corner of the edge of the card scraper or the cabinet scraper. And this is a, like a well-made jig. I like the fact that it's made in Canada. That always makes me happy being a Canadian, seeing a Canadian product that I'm so happy with. I, I don't know um, how well it works. I can't imagine it not working well as everything I've ever had from this company has always been spectacular. But either way, it was a great gift and I'm looking forward to using it. And that would be the Veritas Cabinet Scraper uh, Jointer Jig. Well, next on my list of things I got for Christmas, <sighs> no, it isn't Allen Keys, but what it is is a cool little gimmicky thing that I saw um, on Lee Valley's website that are for use with your Allen Keys, and that would be these cool handles. What's the point of these, you may be asking? Well, how many times have you had to use an Allen key and had to use it in this configuration where now you're trying to tighten and turn things or loosen it by this little tiny bit here. It's murder on the hands, murder on the thumbs, that sort of thing. Allen keys in general are a pain in the neck even when you're using them like this. But what these handles do is they attach to or they give you a way to hold your Allen keys. And inside at each end of the handle, there's a rare earth magnet that helps to hold it in place. And all you do is you line up your Allen key with the hole for that size of Allen key. You push it down until it connects with the rare earth magnet there. And now you have essentially turned your Allen key into a T-wrench and a lot more torque available and a lot more control. That's just the one way of using it, but this is what I think is kind of cool too. What if you needed to use your Allen key or you didn't like that T-wrench configuration and you wanted to do this? Now, you have a screwdriver that is an Allen key and it's compatible with whatever size Allen key you have. The larger sizes, the next sizes down, right down to the little mini ones. And as far as I'm concerned, these are really cool. Both of them, no matter what size, have the magnets to hold your Allen keys in place. But I honestly think that this is going to make using Allen keys a lot easier for me um, because I'm not a big fan of them but either way there you go I'll post the link below these handles are inexpensive and although it's only been a day I haven't had the chance to put them to practical use I just think that they're you know what they're brilliant I uh, I really love them I think they're great one of the drawbacks to having a hobby where we cut things is that our cutters get dull and I'm always on the lookout for little things to make it a little easier for me. And for that reason, one of the things I received this year was a set of four uh, diamond hones or little diamond files. I, I guess these would be hones, really. But I got four grades of them. It's a set of four. Um, the extra coarse, coarse, fine, and then the super fine one. And... It, uh, once again, it's really nice to see this North American made here. This is made in the USA. Whether it be your router bits, your knife blade uh, to give a little quick edge or a little quick touch up on uh, one of your chisels for that final little touch up, that sort of thing. It's always good to have resources available to tune up and sharpen your tools. And while these will not replace, obviously, the grinding and the water stones and that sort of thing, they're fantastic for a quick tune up on, say, the flat edge of a router blade or a router bit where you find it's not cutting quite right, or like I said, that chisel for that final pass. So there you go, a set of four diamond hones. Um, I love this sort of stuff and I'm going to have fun with these.
Well, I always seem to get myself into some kind of situation where I'm in a tight little spot and I need light, but I also need the use of both of my hands. And because of that, one of the gifts that I received was this little guy. And it kind of looks like a little, uh, a little mine sort of thing, doesn't it? But what it is, it's an LED flashlight that is completely surrounded by these small rare earth magnets. And that provides you the ability, say, oh, I don't know, when you're working under your vehicle and you can't see in a tiny little corner, that provides you the ability to take this thing and magnet it up inside and rotate it until you get that LED light where you want it, and then Bob's your uncle. You've got this little tag if you're in a really tight spot that you can pull it and bring it out or release it. Or, of course, you could replace this string with a longer one if it's got to really be jammed in there. Um, but either way, a pretty cool little device. It's got a little switch there on it, just like that, and you can see the LED light that it portrayed. I don't want to, ah, you know, I'm going to do it anyway. So there you go. It gives a nice bright white LED light and uh, with the magnets, very adjustable and uh, sticks wherever you want on the metal and allows you both hands free to be able to work. So um, I'll see if I can post the link for this if some of you guys are interested, but definitely a cool little gimmick there and uh, a little bit of a gadget for those of you who need that little extra light once in a while. Well, this next little uh, gift that I got, I, I have to say it's one of the favorite ones I've got this year. I don't know why I'm so smitten with it, but I really am. I love it. I'm really looking forward to using it. And that is this. It's an awesome little hand drill, that egg beater style hand drill. And it's got a 3 8 chuck, which is fantastic. I've never owned a hand drill like this. I've had a brace and bit and that sort of thing, but never a hand drill. And for some reason, um, I, I just really wanted to get one in the shop. And I think it was after our uh, children's toolbox video where everything was done by hand tools, router planes, the whole nine yards with the exception of drilling the holes. And I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't finish it all with hand tools. And then it came in my mind that this is what I wanted for use in my shop. And I'm sure you guys are going to see this on the show quite a bit when I do our hand tool projects. But I don't know. There's just something about it I love and it really intrigues me. One of the coolest things I like about it is how the chuck tightens. Maybe they're all like this. I don't know. I've never owned one. But there's no chuck key. What it is instead is the uh, chuck itself is threaded onto the main body of the drill. And as you tighten it, I don't know if the video will show this, but as you tighten it on the threads, that rod goes further into the chuck head and it tightens the chuck by pushing those three jaws forward. Can you see that, how that's working there? It never, I never thought of how these things would ever tighten. It never occurred to me because I never had one, but I, I love the way that it tightens. I think it's great. So there you go. One of my favorites this year. My hand drill. Now, one of the other things I got this year is a head or a handle for my Fordham SR series power carver. And with some of the handles that I have for the power carver, you always have to change the collet depending on what bit you're using, um, whether it's a quarter inch shaft or an eighth inch or what have you, three thirty seconds you're constantly in need of changing out the arbor. And it's not a hard thing to do. It's just, you know what, if you don't have to, then, you know, sometimes it's a pain in the butt, you're not in the mood and, you know, that sort of thing. But what this one is, is this is the, um, let me just get a number here because I don't want to mislead you. This is the Fordham number 30 handpiece and it has the quick connect snap in just like all the other Fordham handles but what it also has is this little 
Chucky or Big Chucky or whatever you want to call this. But I love it because you can put this Chucky right in here, just like that. And just as if it were a drill press, look at that. You have an actual chuck inside that you can loosen off that collet and put whichever size you want in there from your smallest right up to your quarter inch um, shanks or shafts. And it's just convenient in what it is. Instead of having to go through, um, let me just show you what you would do to change the collet on it. Normally, here we have the regular shaft. You have to release the collet nut and once you get this unscrewed, then you can take that off. Then you pull out the size collet that you have. And there's that little piece there. You <laughs> don't lose them. And then once you get that out, you put in the proper size that you need. And then you put this back in. Once you get it secured in there, then you can put your bit in and tighten it up and away you go now but there's been times that in my haste to do that I have accidentally put in the wrong cullet so then I go to tighten it and it still won't tighten because some dummy went and put in the wrong one and that would be me so this new one here which this is not going to replace my other ones by any means this is going to be an accessory to or an add-on um, I love having different bits set up in different hand pieces so that I can work without having to change bits back and forth. But this is going to be one of those ones where I don't have to worry about unscrewing all that. I just open it up as wide as I need it, get my bit inside there, and then tighten it down. And there's no chance of me putting in the wrong one, of course, because it's universal. It fits them all. So whatever I want to tighten in there is going to tighten in there just fine. And uh, I love it. This is awesome. Well, one of the other gifts I received was the Veritas uh, Dowel Former. And what this is, this is a set of four dies and they work in conjunction with this steel plate. And what you do essentially is if you want, you can mount this plate on your bench directly over a bench dog hole. Um, and the die, you choose the size of your die that you wish, anywhere from one eighth to one half, and it gets inserted in this disc. And then all you do is you drive a pre-cut um, blank down through the die and you end up getting the size that you want. Now, let me just say what I have here, this is a 3 16 inch die that one of my daughters bought to go with my set. I'll just put that aside because I don't want to mislead you to make you think that it comes with this set. This is a set of four from a quarter inch to a half an inch and it's designed to make dowels up to three inches long. So it's perfect for that sort of thing where you're doing some dowel joinery and you want to, you just need a couple but you don't have any or you want to make your own, you can use scrap to make them, that sort of thing. And there you have it. What did Kenny get for Christmas? Guys, I got some pretty cool stuff this year and I honestly can't complain. I'm looking forward to using every bit of it in the shop. I also got a few Legat Valley gift cards that I'm going to be putting to use by adding more stuff to the shop. But for now, now you know what I got for Christmas. Guys, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. I hope Santa and your family was as good to you as what mine was to me. Um, it's been a lot of fun bringing this to you. Just something a little different here on Alternative Tuesdays. It may not be for all of you, but as long as one of you enjoys it, it was worth the effort to, uh, to film and post. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you don't miss the notifications of future episodes of the show. If you've enjoyed the content, feel free to share it around. I have no problems with that. Heck, if there's something here on the show that you want as a gift, feel free to send this video so that they can get the links and know what to buy you for your next birthday, Christmas, that sort of thing, anniversary, whatever you want to get it for. Heck, maybe it's just because you're just 
such a swell person and you deserve it. <laughs> Guys, I want to thank you for tuning in this week and I hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays. Thank <laughs> you.